Hey, 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 my beautiful people. If you are new to my YouTube channel, you are so welcome. If you are not subscriber, thank you and God bless you for being my subscriber. Without you, my channel won't be alive. Today, I'll be showing you how to make these beautiful teddy bear slippers. But before you do so, please, if you have kids, don't forget to explain to them that this is not their teddy bear that is yours because you might have a fight with them. Okay, I got my two teddy bears from Walmart. I think the two of them cost me $5.99 before tax. So I'll be making a hole, I'll be cutting it. I'll be cutting through the belly of the teddy bear. Some teddy bears have sewing on the on the belly. So if you just have sewing, just go ahead and use knife or use anything to open it up. Be mindful when you're opening. I suggest you open, you try, don't open it too widely. So you don't make anyway, even if you open it widely, you can always sew it back. But just be mindful anyway. I'm taking out the foam in the belly of the teddy bear. I'll be leaving the foam in the hands and the legs. And I'll be leaving some foam on the head because you don't want the head to look saggy. Please, if you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. Without you, we won't be here. Support my channel. We are in it together. So I size it with my hand to make sure um, I have enough to fit my leg. So I'll be sizing my leg, put my leg inside to size it to make sure it fits perfectly fine. I have my ankle sauce. I'm using pink because I want it to be like a girlish color. You can use any color you want. You can use the same color that match with your teddy bear or you can use the same color, um, you use whichever color you prefer. So I went ahead and filled the socks with the foam, excess foam that came out of the belly of the um, teddy bear then push it inside to get the size of my foot i'll be sewing it right round go ahead and sew it right round there is no pattern of sewing it but basically what i did was i passed the needle through the teddy bear then through the socks, I, that is what I did right round. When you're sewing it, please use your hand to expand the socks. So when you finish sewing it, it doesn't like um, get tight and cannot um, widen. You need to make it as stretchy as possible. I'll be showing you the two methods you can use to sew your teddy bear. Two easy method that you can use whichever method you want, but this very method if you're giving it to someone, the socks helps you to get the person's um, foot size. You use the socks to determine their foot size. That is why I'm doing this first one. The second one is for, if you're sewing it for yourself, it's basically easier and quicker for you to do the second pattern. So I'm done sewing. I'll be taking out the foam out of the socks. And by putting the socks, this makes it easy for you to wash. You can throw it into your washing machine. You can use your hand to wash it. You just wash it. It's washing machine friendly. And you can also use your hand to wash it. So go back and insert the socks.
I'll be sewing the hand and the leg together because you don't want it dangling up and down so you just sew the hand and leg together Okay, make sure you secure it very tight you can see me doing that secure it very tight I pass the needle too like three four times just to make it strong Please, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment of what you think. If you're going to be trying it out or not. Your comment helps me know what to do next. So I'm making a loop to secure it tightly. Cut out the excess thread. Then that's what I did on the other side too. Please subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed. Help me share this video to your friends. Help me share this video. Okay, I'm going to be sewing the two legs together. So basically what I did, I just passed the thread and tie secure it. Cut out the SS thread. And your slip pass is ready. Ready, ready, ready. So the second pattern, which for me, I think is the easiest and the fastest. But you try the two and let me know the one you if you try it out let me know the one you think is more easier or the ones you can you'll be doing I wore the sauce put my leg inside I'll be sewing it right round why I'm wearing it so I started from the jaw of the teddy So I went to sew it right round. That's what I did. Just sew it right round. And this one, you don't have to battle with the socks for it to be inside. It just goes in. It has your foot size. You know, I think for me, I think I prefer this, but leave me a comment and tell me the one you prefer. So I'm done sewing it, I'll be sewing the two legs together. Why I'm still wearing it, you can see that. But you can as well take out your leg at this moment. But I'm just doing it like this. So I'll be attaching the hand, sewing the hand to the leg.
I I secured it like three, four times, I guess. Then attach it to the leg. Just the same pattern with the first one when it comes to attaching the hands together. The only difference is when I wore this one sewing it and the other one I have to use socks. I put socks inside, fill it with um, the foam and basically sewed it. So that one, if you're making it for someone, you don't have to put your leg in there. Then it's easier. I'm going to be sewing the other side just adjusted the camera it didn't take me two minutes to do all this so easy it's so easy guys and you have your classic beautiful unique slippers you can wear it indoor when you're going for a weekend to go visit your friends going for a baby shower going for a wedding you know you could go with your your teddy bear slippers and you know it will be like catching eyes it's just so unique and you can use any other kind of you can use elephant the one i made for my daughter i used elephant to make for her so your slippers is ready i am so loving it is so beautiful so unique and it's cold guys so this is just keeping my foot so warm this is like saying goodbye to cold you know so beautiful see that see how classic and how beautiful it looks your teddy bear slippers is all ready 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 Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like this video. If you like this video, check out my next coming video. My next video, I'll be showing you how to make this piece that you see here. Thank you. Bye.